So something immaterial, that is in spatial, which means omnipresent, it's everywhere, that is eternal, that always existed and is uncaused, caused the universe. That sounds like God to me. That is in spatial, which means omnipresent, it's everywhere. <laughs>
The answer to this rebuttal is that the syllogism and argument doesn't deal with any dichotomies of existence. It's dealing with existence itself. So if Christians believe their God exists, then whether their God is material or immaterial is irrelevant. Rebuttal number two. What in the world does length and height have to do with the Christian God? Furthermore, length and height have to do with material things. The Christian God is immaterial. The answer to rebuttal number two is that the length and height denotes something that takes up an area, that takes up space. And as we saw from the syllogism, anything that exists must exist specifically somewhere in adherence to the law of identity. The length and height metrics are simply articulations of something that takes up space represented in mathematical form. Rebuttal number three, the Christian God is omnipresent. To answer rebuttal number three, I have created a second syllogism as an auxiliary to the primary one. Premise number one, something said to be omnipresent is not spatially located anywhere. Premise number two, that which is not spatially located anywhere is spatially located nowhere. Premise number three, that which is spatially located nowhere exists nowhere. Conclusion, therefore, something that exists nowhere doesn't exist.